Thank you, Madam Chair. Tonight, a ceremonial like and important my... step in the renewed push to build a new Hard Rock Casino in Kenosha. City, that. county, and Menominee tribal leaders at the Capitol today, Jesus. symbolizing the agreements recently approved by the City Council and County Board to locally greenlight the project. Do you feel more confident this go around? <laughs> I always feel confident as you move forward, but again, I'm optimistic, I should say but there's a long process here that has to happen. The agreement, a proposed $360 million hotel and casino, would include payments to the city and county based on gaming revenue. But several critical, high-profile hurdles remain. First, approval by the Federal Bureau of Indian Affairs, and then the governor. Former Republican Governor Scott Walker rejected a similar proposal in 2015. From your perspective, what has changed? There's so much more to it today, and we have a governor, we have representatives, and we have BIA officials that realize that and they see that. What's the purpose of being at the Capitol today to put a little pressure on I'm the hopeful, governor? I'm hopeful that he'll get to see what the Menominee people have brought to the table. This has been many years in the making. Democratic Governor Tony Evers, who will have the final say last week in Kenosha. I can't talk about that. No, I'm not, in fact, I probably could, but I'm not going to. Are you watching the process? Is it sure. I, yeah, yeah, absolutely. We 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 know where they're at, uh, but you know, federal government probably hasn't weighed in as much as they're going to be weigh, weighing in. And, so I think it's early on in the, in the process. Tonight, tribal leaders say they anticipate finishing their federal application in the next several months, ideally hoping for a decision from the Bureau of Indian Affairs by the end of the year, before it would head to Governor Evers. At the Capitol, I'm Matt Smith, WISN 12 News. In 2021, Governor Evers approved Ho-Chunk Nation's plans to open a casino and entertainment complex in Beloit. While the plans are approved, it is not yet built.